subscribe play pals thank you so much for clicking on this video and if you're new to our channel click that red subscribe button ring that notification bell so you get updates anytime we upload new videos today i am so excited guys i am back on my omg kick the omg remix dolls came out um for a little while i've already had pop bb kitty k honeylicious and lone star um, but I've just been really busy and so I was unable to unbox them. Those girls are up there just kind of hanging out and eventually I will unbox them. But I do have the OMG Remix Super Surprise. I'm so excited. We've got four girls in here, OMG, and their little sisters. It's gonna be so cool. This is a limited edition Super Surprise and it's got 70 plus surprises two rock bands, it's gonna be amazing. And so I am so excited to see what we're going to unbox. The other thing that's really cool is we get musical instruments. We get four of them. So each OMG doll has her own uh, instrument and so that's gonna be really cool. I really love the remix and the kind of 80s vibe. This box is really, really big and it's really hard for me to even get really good angles so you can see what's going on there. It's got some cool little like uh, symbols and stuff on there. They're like um, kind of almost emoji-like or whatever. And the look on the other side of the box is pretty much the same as it was um, on the other side, but I just wanted you guys to be able to see that. I love all the detail. Man, they're probably gonna, oh, look at that. So, so, so cool. Love it, love it, love it. Love her hair and the glasses right there. Bad girl, I love that. Oh, she's got the little warning tags and stuff on there. Love that. So this is great. I'm definitely gonna be keeping my box. And on the side of the box, it says limited edition OMG Remix. Super surprise, let's be friends. Hashtag collect LOL. You guys know I collect tons of them. Let's see what's on the other side. Oh, so it's the same thing on the other side. That's what's underneath the box. Nothing super special. Oh, it says batteries required, but they're included. So that's good. So anyway, um, that's what's up. So um, let's go ahead and get to this unboxing guys and see what's inside. wanted to do before I actually take all of these girls like out of the actual plastic is just kind of give you my first thoughts. The first one that we're going to take a look at guys is Metal Chick and I think Metal Chick is beautiful. I love her dark lip. I think it looks great. Her eye makeup and look at her eyeshadow. She's got two different tones of pink. I love the black on one side, the pink on the other. I really do like this and the braids as well. I think she really is probably one of my favorite dolls that has like the braids like this. It looks really, really good. They did an amazing job of that. And she's got like the nail polish that's pink and black and you know, alternates. And her little like bodysuit that she has on says Supersonics, which is the name of the group. Um, love all this little detail. Look at the little lace detail and the little like polka dots or whatever that are like fabric um, that's like stitched in versus like um, uh, a press on type effect. And she's got on these little stockings that are here and they're like socks that just, you know, go just slightly over the knee, but it looks really, really good. I love it. The other thing that I noticed is these dolls, the stand, it's actually a clear stand. And I am so glad they did this because I was thinking to myself <laughs> not too long ago with all of these different colored stands if you notice for a lot of my videos where I do my battle of the BBs and stuff I use like white stands or maybe black stands 
Um, I try not to use the colors often, but I think this is going to be great. I love the fact that I have four of these, so I can probably use them for my Battle of the Beepers. Um, so that's going to be nice. And so guys, that's my first impressions in terms of looking at Metal Chick. And so next up, guys, we've got Bad Girl, and I just love her. Now her hair is, I don't know, like I like the fact that her bangs aren't all like glued down and but they still look pretty good look at her eyebrows that is so cool with the black and the like um, neon like green that's so cool and look at her hands yeah it says bad and then on this one it says probably it says girl so it's bad girl and her little bodysuit it is so cute I love this and the fishnet. I'm going to have fun styling her with other girls as well. But I love, love, love that on her. Something that's different with this particular series is her hand. These aren't like gloves, guys. It's her actual hand. It's her actual hand. I could actually style some of my other girls with these hands since I can take the hands off. But that is pretty, pretty cool. And her eyes are kind of like a grayish blue. So that's different as well. So next up, we have Ferocious and she is so cute i love her little like leopard um shadow pattern that they did it is so on trend you know a lot of the um beauty gurus do different things with makeup it's, it's not just a little standard eyeshadow and stuff so i think that's really cool that they did that with her she actually has like a glittery gold brown lip so it's like brown but it has like little gold flecks in them so very very pretty for her and her hand guys her hand she's got a glove on but it's um, one that is a part of her hand you can't actually take the glove off it's got gold fingernails and gold fingernails there her bodysuit that she has on is probably not one of my favorites um, that I've seen so far of this particular line but it's still gonna be something different and probably cool to style um, so I like it I guess but it's just not my favorite and her hair is going to be so much fun. I love the girls with big hair. And one thing that I noticed is she actually has some gold in her hair as well. So it's brown, but she's got some gold and it's like little gold like braids. So that is like really, really cool. At least on both sides. So it's just there and then a little bit in the back. So that's going to be different once we start styling her. And last guys, we've got Fame Queen. She reminds me of Madonna. She reminds me of Lady Gaga. She reminds me of a lot of different people, but I think it's really cool. She's got that little extra hair. I'm gonna have to take that off. But her hair is really cool from the standpoint that it's kind of like a crinkle wave. Really reminds me a lot like the hair um, that's on Neonlicious. She's got the little blue eyeshadow. There's a hint of green in there as well and some like glitter. So that's nice. Um, she has on her face, a little like uh, lightning bolt and on the side she's um, got like an interesting little pose I love it um, to the side but her arm right here it's not like a glove it's almost like she's like a like a she's got a prosthetic arm or something like she it gives her that impression almost like she's like part cyborg or something I don't know it's just really really cool very futuristic looking and I love her little like top this is gonna be really cute for styling going underneath some of my jackets and stuff and then um, these leggings that she has on they're really really nice I love the large like lace patterns it's unlike anything that I have in my doll collection except for a dress I think I got that Tonka Couture but I think that is so nice so I love that look and so that is my first impression of these four girls so for my first impression hmm I think I'm gonna have to say Metal Chick is my favorite I just love her look I think the pink and the black is just so super cool um, I'm gonna have fun styling her even with other outfits but um, so far she is my favorite and I love her dark lip it's really really cute so you guys let me know which one you like in the comments below so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them out of the packaging and I'm gonna get them all dressed and then we'll get another look at them once they have their entire outfits on so metal chick I think she looks cute um, but I have a few critiques that I'm gonna mention about her I love the little headband I think it's cute I like the glasses I like the earrings um, I like the outfit but I think all of it together is a bit much I just think it's way too much but the quality of the outfit is so good that once you mix and match with other things you have I think she will look great but I just don't like I mean I like the skirt but it's kind of weird it's like polka dotted almost looks like a country girl like it looks like Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz or something like a pink one it just it just doesn't go but 
it's still cute i like it but not for her um just because it's pink doesn't mean it's gonna go so anyway i like that these little pieces or whatever that are on this outfit which are really re it's really really nice like on the sleeve or whatever these little like appliques or whatever it is they're falling off everywhere so be careful you don't want to like uh, manhandle the outfit too much uh, but I know it sounds like I, I don't like her a lot, but I do. I really do like her. I like the, the boots. They look amazing on her. Um, the socks over the knee, great. Um, but now that I've gotten her all dressed, I must say she's not my fave. And again, we have her little like guitar. Um, and I'll show you guys more about the instruments later. Um, the other thing is she's got her little sister, Metal Babe, as well. And I'm not going to say too much about these because, I mean, it's pretty much just like the ones that you can get um, if you purchase them in the little surprise balls. But it's pretty cool that she does come with a little guitar. It's like a little broken heart. It's really cute. So I like that. Now, one thing I didn't mention is Metal Babe comes with a corset and you can just it snaps into place you just take it apart to put it on her i was having some difficulty getting it on her so i just decided not to use it but that's a nice little piece that you can use not only for her but mixing and matching with some of your other dolls bad girl i love her little bad girl slime dripping glasses i love her little jacket and then the high collar the little gold studs on there the necklace is cute i mean i loved her bodysuit by itself but this is really really cute the only thing that was a little odd to me is that this is like a lime green type color and this is like a totally different green but i would have probably liked it more if it just matched that to a t just a little critique but i can live with it and then her little like covers for her boots these little fur right here um i think it's cute and this is caution toxic warning extra so that's nice and then she's got her boots on underneath but her outfit is really really um i think it's one of my favorite for sure and i didn't know if it would be um but i really do like it a lot she also has her drum set right here and she puts it on like a harness because you can imagine it would be pretty heavy um, to do that so i'm going to get this on her um, because we're getting the band all set up so i took her jacket off in order to put the harness on um and if you want you can take her rings off and have her hold her drumsticks but i decided not to do that and she's all set to play her drums so her little sister that we have right here is Batty, and Batty actually has the symbols. You just kind of put them on her hands like that. You can get her if you need her for your collection. And um, she's got the little bottle right there. So next up, we've got Ferocious, and she has on earrings. I think these are like alt girls earrings, the same kind of mold, but alt girls was uh, silver and these are gold. Um, I like her outfit overall, um, but I think I will definitely style it different um, later on. Um, it's a cute little, I love this little belt. I love the little top. I love the little choker necklace, especially since it's like gold gold and not like a rose gold color. And her hand's cute. I love these little like um, leather pieces that go on her wrist. I think that's nice. And, you know, I'm not a huge fan of this. I kind of wish both of these were like the same color because I really do like that kind of gold fishnet. I think that's really nice. Um, I love these. In the artwork, it kind of made it look like this went over her shoes or like her shoes were black, but instead they're kind of that blue in it. I'm not a fan. So, but still, I like the individual pieces. See, that's what her boots kind of look like. And then she has this guitar, which goes with her leggings, I guess, if you're trying to go with that. So Ferocious has her guitar, I've just kind of uh, put it over her shoulder. But I wanted to also point out that this little crown, I believe, is hers. Um, so I'm gonna put it right there for now. But if I style her hair differently, it'll be pretty cool. I mentioned earlier that she has these like gold like braids and stuff in her hair. They're like micro braids. So it's really hard to even tell that it's a braid, but she has those and her hair is really really soft like the boss she's got big 
fluffy curls. So I think it's gonna look really nice once I give her a new style for her hair. So Fierce is Ferocious's little sister and she's all set up right there. It's really cool that she has her own little mini guitar. I love it. And also there's her little water bottle. So um, I think it's nice, like I said, if you don't have these. And it's cool when they come with another little accessory that you can use uh, for your uh, LOL tots. So last, guys, we have your girl, Fame Queen. So Fame Queen really did surprise me. I think Fame Queen is my favorite. So let me tell you why. Uh, first of all, I love this little hat that she has on. It's just like shadows, but I love the colors of it. It's nice. So it's a cool little accessory. But aside from that, I really do like uh, her earrings. I like her outfit. I didn't put everything that came with her outfit. She has this like little jacket. I didn't put this jacket on her because I really do like this. Like when you see the the little uh, shoulders on this, this little harness. I like it and her little underneath part, this right here. Uh, the skirt is cute, the little side skirt thing, but I'm gonna take that off guys because I really do like how that looks. That is so cool. She kind of looks like a tin man, cyborg type rocker, I don't know. She's really, really cool. So I really do like it. The only thing I will say, but I think they maybe did it because of her hat, I don't know her like the right here in the top I think I need to play with it a little bit because her hair to me at first looked like just a bad lace front wig you know when people wear their wig and it's like way down here instead of like a natural looking hairline so that's kind of the way it looked to me I don't know but she's so super adorable so I really do like her I love her little like pants and stuff and look at these boots guys love it I love the little like accessories that go with it and the fact that you know she's got two of them and it's just you know there it, it's over the top but I love it and so um you guys let me know what you think and I love her glasses too they're really cute but I'm not gonna actually you know keep them on for the rest of this video but I really do like it also she has her keyboard and this keyboard looks so cool I love all of these instruments and guys they're like they're not all like flimsy and stuff and they work so that is so un uh, amazing as well so I did want to point out for the keyboard and the guitars they have straps and there's like a little um, point on each side where you can detach the strap and I would definitely be careful and not you know just kind of pull it up you don't want to like rip it or anything like that just be careful with it but the cool thing about doing that is you are able to take it off so you can then put it on your doll and kind of style it the way that you want it to look. So the other thing that's cool about these dolls is their uh, different instruments actually work and I'm gonna turn all of them on. And the cool thing about it is you can press a number and each one of them has a corresponding number uh, so that they can play kind of um, have a jam session together. And so that is pretty cool. Or you can kind of mix and match and you know create different sounds and stuff so we're gonna go ahead and set this all up and we're gonna see what the girls sound like okay so i'm gonna start they are i actually turned all of them on and i just want to remind you that if you do turn yours on you probably want to turn them off so that you don't like the battery doesn't die on you so i'm gonna press the button that i'm gonna press for each one is button number three Cool. Let's try another one. I'm going to try to reach number one. Interesting. So let's see four. pretty cool and let's mix it up a little bit and just press some random buttons and see what we get so that's 
pretty cool. So, um, I don't know. I, I really do like them. And one thing I forgot to show you guys, I am so sorry. I was so into what I was doing. I didn't show you Goo Goo Queen. So she is the little sister of Fame Queen and she's all dressed up and she has her own little keyboard and um, she came with a pop bottle. Now when I was unboxing, um, her little piece kind of broke off. It was, I think it was the piece on the side. I just put some super glue, that little nodule, and I just glued it back on and I hope it stays. This is my favorite by far unboxing I've ever done. I'm so happy with these dolls. I'm happy with the quality of their outfits. I'm going to have so much fun mixing and matching with them. You guys let me know what you think about them in the comments below. But that's all we had today on Instant Ride Play. But before we go, I just wanted to say, even if you have a hard day, we hope you find some time to play. And we'll see you next time on Instant Ride Play. That's what it's all about. We are